Welcome to today's video. Let's talk about beach scents. Do you love going to the beach? If so, let us know in the comments and let us know what is your favorite beach. And if you've never been to a beach, what's one beach that you would like to visit? I enjoy the beach. I really don't love the sand, to be honest. I like the way that it looks and I like being on it so long as there's maybe wooden planks over the beach that I'm on. But as far as like sitting on the beach, it's really not my favorite thing to do. I do like sticking my toes in the sand. I do, but I don't like sitting on like beach towels and getting sand all up on me. I just like being on the beach, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Maybe we can talk about that in another video. We're here to talk about fragrances that remind us of the beach or remind me of the beach. I've got a good bunch here for you. This is part of a series of summer videos that I've done this year. We started off with Lux fragrances, those deep, lush, juicy summer fragrances that are maybe a little bit on the more mature side for evening and nighttime wear, resort wear. I did a coconut centered video of fragrances that remind me really very much of coconut smells. And maybe some of those belonged in this video and vice versa. So, you know, but the fragrances that I have today are about smells associated with a beach environment. It could be the marine air in a beach setting, like ocean kind of air, the salt that you get there. It could be solar notes that you experience on that day, like what it smells like on a hot day in the air. And it could be sunblock. I love the smell of suntan lotion wafting off of a beach. That's one of my favorite smells. There's something comforting, soothing and relaxing and like quintessential summer smell. So you, you'll get a little bit of all of that in this video, as well as a couple of scents that have to do with people maybe partying on the beach. And I'll explain more about that as we get into it. So remember, before we get started, what is your favorite beach that you've ever visited or that you want to visit in the comments? All right. Let's talk about some beach scents. As with the other videos in this series, I'll have additional recommendations beyond what we talk about in this video down in the description box and they will be in the pinned comments. So be sure to check those out if you want even more fun beachy scents to get your nose on, sample, buy, maybe even blind buy, huh? go a little crazy. Go YOLO, you only live once, get yourself some beach fragrances. So we're gonna start off with a fragrance that makes me super happy, super happy super duper happy when I spray it. And it's worth hunting down. I'm not sure if this particular version is widely accessible, but definitely Google bronze goddess Eau Fresh. The bottle looks like this. There are a number of different fragrances in the bronze goddess series. I have a couple others. There's this one that I want to recommend. And then there's a body oil that looks like this as well. You know that it's the 2017 version because it has the rimmed, where's the, here we go camera, the rimmed top and then a turquoise band there. And so, and it's the Eau Fresh version, which is also called a skin scent. This is a fragrance that just screams beach to me. It's got a luxurious sunblock smell to it, like a creamy suntan lotion smell. There's definitely some serious coconut happening in here, a beautiful jasmine note, tiara flower, and you get some woodiness as it continues to dry down, a really soft sandalwood. But more than anything, it's like a coconutty sunblock lotion. And you'll hear that a lot throughout this video. So hope it doesn't get too sickening to to hear that. This is a light fragrance. The one complaint I have about this is it's not the longest lasting. And that's actually the case with a number of fragrances that we'll talk about today. But hey, worth carrying around a decant and respraying yourself in the summertime. This is a fragrance that I have reached for in the winter too, when I need to kind of get away from the winter blues and want a little bit of the warmth and happiness of summer to get me through gloomy days. So I really adore this and uh, plan to use it this summer some more. I thought I would suck this down all the way last summer and finish it. And I just didn't mostly because I'm constantly trying new fragrances and all of that. Anyway, worth getting your hands on and one that I definitely have lined up for the summer this year. The next one is one that I no longer have in my collection. And I'm going to share with you why I did like this. I did enjoy this. It's one that has tremendous longevity for being a summer scent. We're talking about Beach by Bobbi Brown. Have you tried this fragrance? This is one that can become cloying because it is long lasting and projecting. It really has a lot of oomph to it. And it has a touch of scratchiness, particularly if you overspray. This is one that if you have this or plan to get it, I would say spray on the lighter side. This is still available out on the retail market. I'm thinking about repurchasing this or maybe getting the oil form of it instead of the actual spray to layer with other fragrances. This is one of the most true, I mean, it, the name is perfect. One of the most true beach fragrances. 
it smells like warm air off of the beach. And I'm talking about a crowded beach where people have slathered their bodies, slathered, not lathered. You lather when you bathe, slathered their body with a beautiful copper tone type of sunblock. It's thick, it's creamy, it's got coconut and florals in the sunblock. You get wafts of white florals in the air and you get a little bit, a little touch of marine air. If you look at Fragrantica at the Accords, it makes it seem like this is a really marine heavy fragrance. And I do think you get some ocean air from this, but more than anything, this is a sunblock fragrance to me. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about purchasing this and keep in mind that it is strong. It has a little bit of a chemical kind of smell to it. So uh, maybe not the truest to form, but definitely a long lasting one. I would say if you're in a department store that has it out on display, spritz it on, see what you think, walk around the store, you might fall in love with it. It absolutely gives beach vibes, just like the name implies. It's a simplistic bottle and it's, I would say as far as fragrances go, on the more affordable end. If you can't find beach, you may want to check out by Arquiste, a fragrance called Vacation. This is sold at Ulta and I don't know where else, but that's where I saw it. And I did try it there. This fragrance isn't one that I've been interested in because the longevity on it, in my opinion, is a little bit poor. And I don't really care for the style of bottle. It's giving me post-traumatic stress disorder from my Dua bottles. And we all know how we feel about that or how I feel about it rather. Yeah, so I don't like the bottle style, but the fragrance inside is, it's literally vacation in a bottle. You get coconut, you get a banana kind of smell. There are some warm aspects of it. It gives you very much a beachy smell, but heavy on like the sunscreen direction, which I love. I love a great sunscreen scent. So this one opens super beachy in the same way that Bobby Brown Beach does and that the Bronze Goddess uh, fragrance does. They've got the same vibe in that they give you that sun-kissed skin that's got sunblock on it. It smells a little bit floral and all of that. We're actually going to get into a few warmer fragrances that have more solar notes in them, but these really stay in the sunscreen direction and a little bit fresher to the nose than some of the other ones that I'm going to mention today. So check that out if you want an affordable vacation in a bottle kind of a fragrance and the bottle style doesn't bother you. The next one is probably one that you hear about in a lot of summer or beach themed videos. It's Mansara Holidays. I had Coco Vini in the coconut video since it's really heavy on the coconut. This has coconut in it as well. The main difference is that the florals are amped up in here. Tiara, which is a, a very typical summer kind of a smell that gives you the sun block or suntan lotion type of vibe and a lang, -a -lang as well. So there's a lot of warmth in this fragrance along with the coconut. And you do get a little bit of that ocean air smell in the background here. The primary players are a creamy coconut and the florals, the tropical floral smell surrounded by a little bit of that ocean air. So this is a delightful fragrance. I have to laugh at myself because the first time that I tried this, I have a dedicated review on this from several years ago when I first started my channel. And I talked about this fragrance maybe not lasting as long as people claimed. Well, boy, was I wrong. I don't know if I had COVID or something at the time and just didn't know what I was talking about because my sense of smell was off. This one is definitely a projecting and long lasting fragrance as are many Mansara fragrances. They're known for that. And so this bottle I've sprayed quite a bit but it's a huge four ounce bottle or something. Yep, four ounces, 120 mils. And so even though I've used it quite a bit, it takes a while to go through a bottle like this. And you don't need a lot of it. You don't need to spray a lot of it. In fact, if you spray a lot of it, you might suffocate yourself with this fragrance. So spray lightly. Holidays Mansara. It's kind of like a must have fragrance for the summer. And if you aren't sure if you're gonna like it, definitely get a decant. I will say not everyone loves this because it can be overwhelming. It can be a little too much summer smell all at once. So in that sense, I would say spray lightly with this one, less is more. Another one that you'll hear about often in video after video after video about summer fragrances is Maison Margiela's Beach Walk. I have to say this is a fragrance that I have enjoyed, but I may be selling on Mercari. My Mercari link is below if anybody's interested. So what's up with this fragrance? I, as you can see, I haven't used it a whole lot, but I have used it the past few summers sparingly. And I think the reason why is that this fragrance is in some ways rather nondescript as a summer fragrance because it has the combination of everything that I'm talking about. Even though there aren't, there's not an accord listed of marine air, I do think you get a little bit of sort of the ocean air vibe from this, coconut, some of the florals that you associate, tropical florals that you associate with summer, 
It also, though, has a little bit of powderiness and muskiness to it that I think makes this a fragrance that has a lot going on. A lot of people love this. I do think that it has some beauty to it, but I, I have to say that I would probably uh, reach for some of the others that I've talked about over this fragrance. However, it's such a classic summer scent that it would be a shame not to at least mention it in this video for those of you that are into the Replica line from Maison Margiela. Beach Walk is a great name and it describes itself as sun-kissed salty skin. Yeah, I, skin maybe, but I get more so the air, the air coming off of a beach, like as you're going on the boardwalk and you get the waft of the ocean air, the sunblock off of people, maybe some solar notes in there, a little bit of muskiness, a little bit of powderiness and some yellow florals. So in that way, it's quite like the amalgam of smells that you would associate with summer. And the other issue that I have with this fragrance is that it becomes a skin scent relatively quickly which isn't a bad thing. I don't mind skin scents. I have a place for skin scents, but I think I just prefer some of the other fragrances that I have more than this one. So anyway, this isn't about me. This is about you and what you may like to smell. And so check out Beach Walk. One of the nice things about this is that it's typically out on display at Sephora if you're near a Sephora. And this is usually out to test. So you can see if this is something that you would be interested in or not. So maybe this next fragrance really should have been in that Lux Summer Fragrances video, but I decided to put it here and it's Sunkissed Hibiscus from Nest. I think this is one of the prettiest bottles in the Nest lineup. I really, really like this bottle a lot. For me, this is a bit of a more mature summer fragrance, but it still has some beachiness in it in that it does give me, it almost gives me terracotta vibes if you've tried that from Guerlain. The fragrance is really characterized by a warmth from amber some white florals, and there's actually frangipani listed on the Nest website, even though it's called hibiscus. And so the, flo the, the flower <laughs> inspired the fragrance, if you look at the story on the Nest website, but it lists frangipani as one of the keynotes. And this warm, creamy coconut, I do think it's a little bit more about the warmth from the amber and the florals than about the coconut, but they play very nicely together. To me, this starts to go into the direction of what whoa, disaster averted, <laughs> starts to go into the direction of what warm skin smells like that has a really like high end sunscreen on it, suntan lotion on it. So I really like this fragrance a lot. And it's maybe one that could be a bridge between this category of fragrance and the Lux fragrances for summer. Let's go on. So similar in nature to Sunkissed Hibiscus, my next fragrance is Armani's Sun de Joya. Let me show you all the right way, <laughs> Sun de Joya which can be a little bit difficult to find. So definitely do a Google search on this fragrance. I think I got this in a neighborhood of between 60 and $70. The main difference between these two fragrances is that Sun de Joya has a little bit more sweetness to it. The yellow florals in this fragrance are a bit more pronounced. It's a little bit lighter in texture, whereas this one has some depth from the amber, uh, which creates this sort of deep coziness around this fragrance. This one is a little bit lighter in nature, a little bit more carefree. I will say this fragrance feels a little bit fleeting on the skin. You, you know, are lucky to get a couple of hours from this fragrance. And then it, it just becomes a real skin scent, which I don't mind in the heat of summer. And it definitely has a sweetness to There's it. There's vanilla in the fragrance and benzoin and ambroxan in it as well. So it does have some substance to it, but it's light. It's a light fragrance that will sit a little bit closer to the skin than some of the other ones that we've talked about. Like if you want to go for beast mode, check out holidays for sure. And maybe beach by Bobby Brown. Those are like the beast modes of the <laughs> crew that I'm going to talk about, the crew of fragrances that I'm, I'm mentioning today. This one is a little bit more delicate, a little bit more light, a little bit more flirty, definitely skin scent-ish and does give you the sun-kissed skin uh, scent type of feeling, the warm, uh, sweet scent that you might get on your skin. If you haven't like dipped into the ocean, you've kind of stayed on land. One important thing to note about this fragrance that makes it different than the others is that there isn't a coconut note in here. Uh, so the sweetness here comes from the vanilla and some of the other ingredients. Sun de Joya, hard to find, but worth finding. Really, really pretty, delicate summer fragrance. A fragrance that maybe doesn't belong in this video, but the name certainly reminds me of being on the beach. And there's something about this fragrance that I think fits in with the beach thing in that it has a solar touch to me, even though there isn't a solar accord in this fragrance. My mind goes there with it though. And it's Sandal Sun from Hermetica. 
I just have this generous sort of travel spray that uh, Joss at Joss's Fragrance Mixology sent to me. Hey, Joss. Hey, girl. Hey, thank you very much. But the bottle on this is super cute. I've thought about purchasing this a number of times and, and just haven't. Not that I wouldn't in the future. This is a fragrance that's, that is mostly about hazelnut and vanilla and sandalwood together and just gives this certain kind of warmth that reminds me of a beach setting, certainly appropriate for other seasons in the year as well. Like this isn't just summer associated, but the name Sandal Sun, like sandalwood and sunlight is what I think of <laughs> with this fragrance with the Nutty Accord. It reminds me very much, got a little bit sprite here, of if you've put on a fragrance that has a Nutty Accord and it's sort of worn off as the day goes on and your skin has warmed up with the sun, maybe you're a little bit sweaty, what your skin would smell like at the end of a day where you have that kind of fragrance on with some sandalwood in it as well. Really interesting fragrance and worth sampling even if you're not interested in buying it just because it is such a unique kind of a scent. Fragrance I no longer have, but definitely would say get your nose on, especially if you're into salty marine air type fragrances. This is salt from Ellis Brooklyn. The bottle alone is so stinking cute on this with the turquoisey blue, marine blue, whatever color you think it is, whatever shade of blue you think it is. I do like the Ellis Brooklyn bottle shapes. I think they're really really cute. So the color's gorgeous. The name of it, Salt, is fantastic. This fragrance is about the ambergris, the musk, and lang lang, and some woodiness in the base. And the ambergris is very salty in this fragrance, gives you a lot of sort of a marine air aspect. So in that sense, it does have that like ocean air tinge to it, but it's also heavily musky and maybe a little bit animalic in that sense. Like those two things combined, maybe a little bit strong for folks. It does have enough alang alang and some other florals to kind of balance that out. So it's, it's worth checking out. And this is another one that if you're near Sephora, they usually have all the Ellis Brooklyn fragrances out on display, especially if you're near a flagship store. So it'd be easy to try this and see if it's something that sort of scratches that beach scent uh, itch that some folks have. So I'm going to talk about two fragrances that smell like partying on the beach. And then I'm going to talk about two fragrances that after you've had a long day on the beach, you're all sun tanned or maybe burned. <laughs> you've had a lot of drinks and you go to sleep and you wake up the next morning and you have a cup of coffee on the beach. That subtle beach smell when no one's out there. I have two beautiful ones to share with you that give you that serene morning summer beach scent type of feel. So let's talk about, uh, this is a dupe for Moonlight in Heaven from Killian. This is Moonlight in Paradise from Alexandria Fragrances, a pretty darn good dupe. I have been tempted to buy Moonlight in Heaven. This is one that kind of goes in and out of cart depending on how much sale it's on. Do you have this fragrance? And if so, does it last long for you? I know that's the number one complaint about Moonlight in Heaven. This fragrance does have moderate longevity as well. The, the dupe, I don't think this is a super long lasting fragrance, but maybe, maybe it's a little better than the Killian version. So about this fragrance, about last night, about this fragrance, <laughs> opens up with a little bit of citrus. In the heart, you get a lovely combination of very soft, subtle mango. This isn't a loud pronounced mango note like you might get in, oh my gosh, you know what fragrance I did not talk about in the Lux Fragrances video because I didn't have it yet and I now have it and it belongs so much in that one. I put it in the pinned comment for that one. It's the Stefan Humbert Lucas, not God of Fire, which is nice. It is the Mango Kiss, Soleil de Jetta Mango Kiss. Woo, what a loud, beautiful, projecting, really super sophisticated, deep, sensual mango fragrance. Love that one, not for everyone. Anyway, that really belonged in the Lux Fragrances video. Check that out, get a sample of that and let me know what you think about it. But this one, it, the mango in here is not like those fragrances, like those fragrances, those mango fragrances. <laughs> this is a softer, more subtle mango and a nice creamy coconut softened up by a rice note that kind of sits right alongside those, those other two notes. It's a little bit of a sweet fragrance. It's intriguing. It's nice. It's mellow. And it reminds me of drinks on the beach. This does have a little bit of a beach party atmosphere thing happening, but subtle like the party's happening next door and you can smell the drinks being poured, but you don't have your nose right up in it. That's a little bit of what I get from this fragrance. So check this one out as a fun, light beach fragrance. I have to have at least one that puts the lime in the coconut. Y'all know. <laughs> 
yes, I do sing that obnoxious song all over my house all summer long and just like nauseate my family with it. <laughs> this is Simone Andrioli's Party in the Bay, Party in the Malibu Party in the Bay to be exact, which is very similar to Creed's Virgin Island Water. The primary players in this fragrance are lime and coconut. That's why you got to put the lime and the coconut. All right, I'll stop. And then some rum and some sandalwood, a little bit of like happy greenness way deep in the background. Ooh, it's so fresh and so fun. And so it's such a party in a bottle. It really, really is. This is that mixed drink. It's clear alcohol and maybe like uh, you got Sprite and you got some lime in there and maybe even like the, there's no mint in here, but just imagine like the freshness of mint. The feeling that you get from fresh mint is sort of what happens in this fragrance. It doesn't smell minty. I don't mean that. But so lime, coconut, a little rum, a little sandalwood. This is a beautiful fragrance, pretty long lasting and pretty projecting. You don't need a whole lot. I wore it, I would say, probably a handful of times last summer and maybe this winter once or twice, but this big old bottle will last you a very long time because you don't need a lot of it. And I think you can get this for under 200 for the big bottle, which isn't that awful for this kind of a fragrance. This is a winner winner chicken dinner for summer and beachy vibes and happy like party vibes. But let me also talk about two fragrances that are like the save it for the morning after. What song is that? an 80s song. Bonus points for anybody that remembers what song that lyric goes to. Let's talk about the fragrances. This next one I do not own. However, I may get a bottle of it someday. I learned about it through Paula Bianca, her channel, and it's called Hamaka. Hold on. 2787 is the name of the brand. Hamaka 2787. Hamaka in Spanish means hammock. Why did it take me so long to remember that? Hammock, <laughs> hamaca. And I love the image of laying in a hammock oceanside, relaxing the morning after. So this is the first morning after fragrance. And you get that beautiful light waft of marine air with the scent of coconut in the distance with a little bit of sweetness. And it's kind of like, even though musk isn't listed in this fragrance, it has like this light, airy muskiness to it. I think this is a glorious fragrance in that it's light, it's unimposing, and it's unassuming, and it is understated as a summer beach style fragrance, and one that you can put on in the morning, enjoy your morning coffee outside, oceanside, seaside, whatever, on your deck overlooking the beach. If you're on vacation, enjoy it, and then come back in and shower it off and use something else you know, for the rest of your day. It's not a long-lasting fragrance. It's really sort of subtle and close to the skin, but it's so reminiscent of beautiful morning ocean air. I just had to include it in this video and has a nice little soft coconut in it as well. Really, really pretty subtle fragrance that I would highly recommend. And another one, if you like that same kind of vibe that I would recommend is from Veronica by Sur La Plage, which I've talked about a little bit here in other videos this summer. What a lovely, really light, subtle, again, understated, the word understated, elegant, light, and simple comes to mind. Ocean air, that marine ocean air vibe that comes from this fragrance, real subtle, not scratchy, not imposing. You know, sometimes marine fragrances can be a little bit like mm, a little too much, a little overwhelming. This is none of that. This is nice and subtle and easy to get along with. And I love that it has a really subtle white floral touch to it. So if you imagine, again, this concept of like coming out in the morning, the air is a little bit cooler than it is at like noon on a beach where you're scorching and you've got all the solar things happening and, and the sunblock and all of that. This is more subtle, either early morning or late evening as things are cooled down. There is a garden nearby, so you get wafts of white florals, particularly some of those florals that open up at night, and bloom at night, that are really subtle and pretty. This is so nice. And that subtle ocean air combined together, Sur la Plage, very, very pretty fragrance. And the bottles are just gorgeous. I mean, can you tell I really am enjoying this? So again, if you want beast mode, I already told y'all, go with beach, go with holidays, and then you can step it back all the way down to the more subtle fragrances like this one and hamaka and everything in between that we've shared in this video. So I hope that you enjoyed these selections. Please do check the pinned comments for additional suggestions and hop into those comments and share your own if you think there are some that people should know about that I didn't talk about in this video. 
I appreciate you if you're still here. Big hearts. Or maybe we should do this for like sunshine. <laughs> Hope you get to go to a beach this summer and stick your toes in the sand. Or if you're like me, stay on some wooden platform and enjoy the beach from there. Maybe like a bar top or something like that. Take care, friends. See you in the next video. Mwah.